Conversational question answering is a challenging task at the current research frontier and is important for developing conversational search systems. In conversational question answering, a system must return a correct answer given a question and the previous conversation turns. Such questions are often ambiguous outside of the conversational context and require incorporating additional information contained in the previous conversation turns. Moreover, evaluating systems for conversational question answering, especially for questions that require long generative answers drawn from multiple information sources, remains an open research problem in its own right. This paper provides an overview of the SkyCrack 2021 shared task on conversational question answering. The shared task featured three subtasks that correspond to three steps in conversational question answering, question rewriting, passage retrieval, and answer generation. We report on the extended conversational question answering data set employed in this task, participating systems and insights gained from their performance, and the challenges we faced when evaluating the submissions and our approach for dealing with those. The shared task was built around the recently introduced CREC dataset. CREC contains sequences of conversational questions paired with answers produced by human annotators. Such sequences imitate a dialogue session with follow-up questions asked by the user. The annotators had access to a web search engine and every answer is based on the content of a single web page, while several web pages may be used to answer different questions within the same sequence. These web pages were downloaded and chunked into passages. The system's task is to retrieve information from this passage collection and produce the correct answer based on this information. We received 29 runs, including the submissions made by four participating teams and the results produced by our three baseline models. Each of these runs contains answers to all questions of the correct test set. We introduced three baseline models. The basic baseline implements a naive approach for question answering. It submits the question as the answer. Though not intuitive at first glance, this baseline is surprisingly hard to beat as most question answering metrics are based on token overlap between submitted and ground truth answer, and the ground truth answers naturally often share tokens with the respective questions. The simple baseline implements low effort approaches for each subtask. For question rewriting, it submits the question without modification. For passage retrieval, it employs Pizzarini BM25 as in the original CREC paper. For question answering, it submits the sentence from the retrieved passages that contains the most of the stemmed noun phrases of the question. The GPT-3 baseline uses the OpenAI GPT-3 API with default parameters for question answering. As the model prompt, all preceding questions and answers were prefixed with Q and A respectively and then concatenated. Four teams submitted results to the shared task. Team Rachel implemented a three-stage pipeline that rewrites the question with T5 and summarizes the top 10 passages retrieved with BM25 for the rewritten question using Pegasus to generate the answer. The T5 model for query rewriting uses the questions and answers of previous turns and the current question to make the current question context independent. The rewritten query is used to retrieve the top 10 passages with Pizzarini BM25. Finally, the rewritten query and the top 10 passages are concatenated and fed to the abstractive summarizer Pegasus fine-tuned on the official CREC training set. Team Raleigh QA uses the human rewritten questions to retrieve passages with a pipeline identical to our simple baseline and a fine-tuned extractive BERT model for question answering on the top K passages. The BERT model was fine-tuned for span extraction on the official CREC training dataset during a single epoch. Team Torch uses a three-stage pipeline that rewrites the question with GPT-2, retrieves passages with BM-25 and a BERT-based re-ranker, and generates the answer from the top-scored passage using T5. The question rewriting uses GPT-2 fine-tuned on the official CREC training set with the questions and answers of previous turns and the current question to rewrite the current question. The passage retrieval re-ranks the top 1,000 results for the rewritten query of Ansarini BM25 using the open match BERT re-ranker. The final answer was generated using the top passage concatenated to the rewritten question. Team Ultron uses a two-stage pipeline rewriting the question with the sequence-to-sequence -sequence model BART and generating the answers using RAG. The BART model uses the current question and the queries of the previous turns as input to rewrite the current question. The BART model was fine-tuned for question rewriting using the official CREC training set. 
To assess the submitted runs, we first employed a range of automated metrics. For the question rewriting subtask, we employ the measure which achieved in the correct paper the highest correlation with human judgments for this subtask, Rouge 1. For the passage retrieval subtask, we adopt from the correct paper the mean reciprocal rank. We also employ the token overlap heuristic of the correct paper to determine relevance. Using token overlap is similar in spirit to several of the question answering metrics. For the question answering subtask, we experiment with eight different metrics for comparing the generated answers with the ground truth answers. Exact match. F measure. Rouge 1. Part of speech score. Semantic answer similarity. BERT score. And BERT score KPQA plus Rouge LKPQA. We gave participants the option to use either the original dataset or, if they wanted to focus on the later steps of the pipeline, start with the human rewritten questions. This table shows results for the former case, for which two teams participated. For question rewriting, the simple baseline returns the question as is and is outperformed by every run of the two teams. Both teams achieved similar scores, with Team Rachel having a slight advantage indicating that T5 might be a good starting point for further improving question rewriting. For passage retrieval, nearly all submitted runs improve upon the simple baseline. Interestingly, the run with the highest QR does not reach the highest MRR. Indeed, the Pearson correlation of a run's QR and MRR for Team Rachel is minus 0.35, indicating a weak negative correlation. For question answering, the baselines are beaten by most runs. However, we find that the rankings of the different metrics often disagree, leaving otherwise an inconclusive image. As an extreme case, the runs by Team Rachel that achieved the highest part of speech score actually got the lowest score of their runs for most other metrics. Most findings on the original dataset are also valid when approaches started from the human rewritten questions. However, the simple baseline now performed best for passage retrieval in terms of MRR. Seemingly, the not rewritten questions it used in the previous table provide a much worse starting point for passage retrieval than the automatic rewritten questions of the participating teams. For question rewriting, we see a small but consistent increase in scores compared to when using the original dataset. Despite their differences, the metrics generally agree on ranking the runs of Team Rachel high up, indicating the potential of their approach. To enrich these automated results and provide more insight, we also employed a human evaluation procedure in two phases. We start with a set of candidate answers for a question queue that was obtained from the runs submitted by the participants and our baseline approaches, around 17,000 total. To account for our limited budget, we filter candidate answers by a similarity threshold to the ground truth answer. The subset with the highest similarity scores is then used to crowdsource answer plausibility labels. The result of this phase is the subset of all plausible answers identified for a question queue. We obtained nearly 2,000 plausible answers, with on average four different plausible answers per question. In some cases, those answers were paraphrases, shortened, or more detailed versions of the same answer. In other cases, the answers are different, which may or may not be contradictory, such as pointing at different aspects in a definition. The next evaluation phase is designed to assess the faithfulness of the plausible answers identified in the previous phase. For each plausible answer, we collect a set of evidence spans by matching each answer to the top K passages submitted by the participants using a sliding window and a token overlap heuristic. We keep the token overlap threshold low to find semantic matches and then apply the similarity threshold to filter out candidate spans. The resulting sets of spans extracted from the passages paired with the corresponding plausible answers are then used to crowdsource faithfulness labels. The annotation task distinguishes texts which are irrelevant or relevant to the question, and for relevant texts whether the answer can be deduced from the text. Only triples with a relevant text and deductible answer are seen as faithful. After removing the samples on which the workers disagreed, we obtained 386 answers that were judged as faithful given the matched evidence spans. Most of the answers were judged as faithful given the evidence spans we extracted, which shows the effectiveness of our evidence extraction approach and the fidelity of the evaluated models. The table also demonstrates that some of the models that produced many plausible answers, such as GPT-3, have a lower proportion of answers judged as faithful than other models.
Note that this may also indicate that the answers generated by these models are very different from the retrieved passages. In this case, our approach is not sufficient to detect relevant evidence spans. Therefore, we believe that a reasonable requirement for generative QA models in future shared tasks should be to provide short evidence spans alongside passage IDs for answer evaluation. Results of the Sky Crack shared task identified main achievements as well as the major challenges when applying the state-of-the-art models to the task of open domain QA. All of the submitted runs used a sparse index with BM25 for initial retrieval in combination with question rewriting for conversational QA. Due to the large collection size, none of the participant teams managed to scale dense passage retrieval that could allow deploying an end-to-end -end conversational QA model. We proposed and implemented an evaluation procedure that allowed us to compare the model performance and discover new plausible and faithful answers. We used it to extend the original conversational QA dataset used for evaluation with multiple correct answers per question. Our evaluation results showed that the modern QA models are already able to produce fluent answers but we cannot always trust those answers to be correct. Ordinary users are unaware of such models limitations and can be easily persuaded or misguided by plausible but unfaithful answers. There's a need to establish a way to produce high-quality answers grounded in the external information sources that can be referenced by the QA model. While we showed an efficient approach to mine plausible and faithful answers, it is not possible to evaluate faithfulness if the generated answers are very different from the original text. To make further progress on the generative QA task, the models should be required to provide evidence alongside their answers explicitly indicating the answer provenance. The next edition of the Sky Workshop will be hosted at SIGIR 2022. Thank you for your attention and we look forward to see you at SIGIR 2022.